Hi. So in this lesson, we're going to look at different ways of working out the area of compound shapes. We'll begin with question A. And we're going to consider each of these little squares to have a length of one centimeter by one centimeter. So to work out this area, we're going to split it up into two different rectangles. And we can do this by drawing a line along here. So now you can see we've got two rectangles. The top one, which is three centimeters by two centimeters, and the one below it, which is two centimeters by five centimeters. So now the area of a rectangle on top, which is three by two, is six centimeters squared. And the one below it is going to be two centimeters times five centimeters, which is 10 centimeters squared. So the total area of this compound shape will be the sum of these two areas. So six and 10, which gives us 16 centimeters squared. Now I want to show you two other ways we could have worked out this area. So rather than drawing the line along here to create two shapes, we could have drawn the line down here. So now we've still got two rectangles or a rectangle and a square we've got three centimeters again on top but now a three by four centimeter rectangle which is 12 centimeters squared and then we've got a two by two which will give us an area of four centimeters squared with a total area of 16 centimeters squared now it's a good idea when we work out compound areas to try and find two ways of doing it because then we can use one way to check the other. But I also want to show you a third way. And rather than adding two rectangles together, we can work out the total area by thinking of the larger rectangle, which is this rectangle here, with an area of four centimeters by five centimeters. So 20 centimeters squared. And then rather than adding, we can take away this rectangle here. And this is two by two. So the biggest rectangle, take away the area of the smaller square. And again, we get the same total area. Now we don't need to know all three ways, but it is useful to look at this problem in different ways. Okay, so do you want to try and use two of these methods to try and work out the area in question B? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question B, again, I'm going to consider each of these little squares to have one centimeter squared. So we can split this shape up by drawing a line along here. This will be two centimeters by one centimeter so two centimeters squared. And then we've got three centimeters by four centimeters. So 12 centimeters squared. So the total area would be the two centimeters squared plus the 12 centimeters squared, which is 14 centimeters squared. So now I'm going to work out the same area, but using a different method. So rather than adding two rectangles together, we can make it into one larger square, which is four centimeters by four centimeters. So 16 centimeters squared, take away these two here. So again, we get 14 centimeters squared. Okay, so do you want to try and work out the area in question C? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So for question C, I'm going to split up the shape into two rectangles by drawing a line along here. Now we know this length must be the total length of six minus the four, so this will be two, which means this will have an area of four centimeters squared. And this rectangle is six by four, so 24 centimeters squared. So the total area 
will be the 4 at the 24, 28 centimeters squared. And again, I'm going to check this using a different approach. So we could think of it as a larger square, which is 6 by 6. So 36 centimeters squared. Take away this rectangle here. We know this length is 6, and this one is 2, so this must be 4 centimeters. And this is 6, and this is 4, so this one must now be 2 centimeters. So 8 centimeters squared. And this gives us the 36 centimeters squared. Take away the 8, which gives us 28 centimeters squared. Okay, let's try one more question. Okay, so in this question, we've been asked to work out the area of this compound shape, which looks like a T. Do you want to try this question yourself? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to split this up into two rectangles. We have a rectangle on top and a rectangle below it. So the rectangle on top is 20 by 5. So this area will be 20 meters multiplied by 5 meters, which is 100 meters squared. And the rectangle below it, well, if we know this is 5 and this length is 25, then this length must be 20. So the area of this rectangle will be 20 meters multiplied by 4 meters, so 80 meters squared. And this will give us a total area of the 100 meters squared plus the 80. So 180 meters squared. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.